my name is Michelle and I do five star book reviews and I am back from vacation. I took a week off. I didn't shoot any book reviews while I was gone because I really couldn't find a place to do them. That would have been good. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to wait. And I am so happy I did because I took my time and I read this book like a normal person, like slow a person like a person on vacation should be reading right not like a book a day on vacation no i read this book this week right here ah, the murder list oh my gosh guys i absolutely love this book hank hank philippi ryan philippi yeah, I always say Philippi. That's in my head, okay? And I love Hank so much. I'm going to put the interview that I did with her last year below here. And she is amazing. I had such high expectations for this book and it reached every expectation and then some, okay? She, uh, Hank, whatever you write, I'm going to read because, <laughs> because this book was absolutely fantastic all the way through, right? 95% of this book, I, I'm getting to 95% and I'm like, oh my God, this book is amazing. And then the last 5%, the last two chapters will blow you away. And don't read ahead because you won't get it anyway. But anyway, oh, it was so, 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 so good. Do you think I liked it? I did, I loved it. Okay, let's get some things out of the way here. 352 pages, psychological thriller. I think this is her 12th book, if I counted right. And I hope I did, but I'm pretty sure this is her 12th book. And if you did not read Trust Me, I'm going to put the cover up here. Go, go today. Read Trust Me, then read this book. You don't have to read them in any order, really. But I just feel like I love Trust Me so much. But then I love this book. I don't know. These two books have got to be like on your shelf. All right. So we've got The Murder List comes came out on August 20th. Means uh, today is September 1st. That means it's been out for 11 days. And it's like, I am seeing the reviews of this book and everybody is like, oh my God, oh my God. And that there is a good reason why, okay? Because it is that good. And the fact that she did it in 352 pages, I didn't listen to it. I read it. I read it slow. I absorbed it. And, you know, because of reading Trust Me, I was like waiting and waiting and like, this is, as a matter of fact, I kept calling it Trust Me because I'm like, in this book, you don't know who to trust. And I love how she writes that because no one does it like her. And Hank, if you are watching this, like you had me, I'm like, wait, this is Trust Me. No, this is the murder list, okay? Because you write those characters that were like, I don't know, I don't know, I, I, ugh. And then you're like, oh my God, oh my God, I do know who, who to trust. I have one character I can trust. Okay, whatever, right? Whatever. So up on your screen, I'm going to read from my phone, okay? Law student and Rachel North will tell you without hesitation what she knows to be true. She's smart. She's a hard worker. She does the right thing. She's successfully married to a faithful and devoted husband, a lion of Boston's defense bar, and her internship with the Boston's DA office is her ticket to a successful future. Problem is, she's wrong. <laughs> I love it, especially now that I've read this. Like I'm, like I'm so in the know. Up on your screen, a fireworks display of a novel, exciting, explosive, relentless AJ Finn, who we love and he knows, so believe him, okay? And then B.A. Paris, who also knows, a cracker of a read, Hank's best yet. Well, I love all her books, so I'm not gonna say that. Trust me, was so good that I'm like, I, I just put those two up above like so many others, okay? So anyway, let's go to the very first line and, um, and then I'll talk about the characters, okay? Chapter one, now, because she does it in two timelines. She's like now and then past, okay? We never fight, not in the past six years, as long as we've been married, not even in the months before that. It isn't that Jack is always right or I'm always right. Usually our disagreements are about things that don't matter. So it's easier and quicker for me to acquiesce. Jack's a lawyer, so he likes to win. It makes him happy and that's good. <laughs> and you know what? I went back and read after it ended. I went back and read that first chapter because I was like, I got to see how she set me up. And you did it, Hank. You set me up in that first chapter, okay? And I love that. And it just shows how smart you are, okay? So let's talk. 
Rachel North, who we were just, she does this in three points of view, two timelines, and tr you will not get, I was going to say trust me, and then I'm like, I can't trust me? Hmm, that's the name of her book. But <laughs> trust me, you will not get confused. We've got Rachel North, who I consider the main character, and she is, okay? 36 years old, she's a Harvard Law student, um, married to Jack Kirkland, who is her husband and who is a defense lawyer. And then she starts working because she is in Harvard Law School and she starts working at the DA's office for Martha Gardner. I am telling you, these points of view, you will be going, I'm, I, <laughs> I'm like, how do I explain this? Because I don't want to give anything away, but you will be going on this ride with Hank. Just, just enjoy it. I did. I was at the beach. I was enjoying this. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to read this fast. I'm going to read this and I'm going to absorb these characters and I'm going to get into these characters that sometimes when you read a book really fast, you don't have time to do that. Okay. You're just like cruising through the book. And, and I love books that I do that with too. It's not that it's just that some books you just want to absorb and you just want to be like, okay, Hank, I'm giving you this week, entertain me. And she did. Cause there were times that I was reading when I was like not laying on the beach and, and like standing in lines and, you know, uh, eating dinner and, you know, reading her book because I'm like, just one more chapter, one more chapter. She does it beautifully. I love you, Hank. You are amazing. Okay. And, and never mind that her husband's a lawyer. Okay. So she knows what she's talking about. Plus she has 36 Emmys for being a journalist. Okay. In the Boston area. She is a smart lady and um, I bow down to you and I can't wait. The only thing is I wish I could talk to you so I could find out what you're writing next, but I know you're writing. So anyway, thank you for watching everyone. Hit like if you like my book reviews and um, I already know my next book. I'm not going to tell you the title, but it's historical fiction and it's amazing. So stay tuned until my next book.